All right, welcome back everybody. Today we are talking about Multivac, ticker MTV. We are gonna do a little bit of news, then talk chart analysis and price predictions. So let's get started. Right before we hop into the video, wanted to just let you guys know uh, there is a free chart pattern guide that's claimable for all my subscribers. Uh, the form link can be found in the description below. Just let me know what email to send that to and you can go ahead and claim that. Uh, so now let's get started. Uh, let's hop right into the most recent news. Um, first being, it's always important to understand who is running uh, the project you're invested in, and that's how we are going to start today. So first off, Sean Ying has moved from CTO to CEO, so he'll now be heading up um, all operations as opposed to what he's used to with just the technology. Uh, definitely something to keep on uh, to keep your eye out on uh, right there. Um, the next thing is. Uh, MTV Swap is live, so this is the first uh, live DEX on MTV. Um, so Swappy, its native token launched, uh, it's been successful so far, and obviously just another great way for folks to get involved in the MTV ecosystem and, and an easy way for them to get involved. The other thing I wanted to note is just how uh, aggressive the staking growth has been for MTV. So this means, um, you know, the amount of addresses staking and the amount of MTV actually being staked has gone up exponentially, as well as the security of the network. So we can see here just in the last five months, um, if we pull down this marker right here, you can see a six, almost six and a half times uh, increase in the number of wallets that are staking MTV, and that led to a 50% increase uh, in about the last uh, five months uh, in terms of actual uh, staked MTV currency. So very impressive from that standpoint. That means that people are valuing uh, the currency long term and also uh, enjoying the yields that it's providing today in order to, to uh, ensure the security of the network. So final piece before we move on to the charts, um, they are going MTV uh, is going to be supported on uh, Strike Wallet. Um, so Strike X has been increasing in popularity. Um, it's bringing on a lot of different projects and it's starting to gain a lot of traction in terms of usership. So another great way for MTV to get some exposure. Now with the news out of the way, let's hop into the charts. Uh, so I just want to start off with some chart analysis and then we'll go into some uh, price prediction and, and, and price target um, stuff. So starting really, really quick, uh, you know, we can see we have this uh, bullish structure still lining up nicely. We had a beautiful bounce uh, off of about uh, five tenths of a cent. Now, why I think this happened at this particular time uh, is if you pull down this kind of triangle right here you're gonna see pretty quickly uh, if we draw that out uh, we see that this asymmetrical triangle pattern uh, was broken you know essentially just uh, a couple days ago and now you know I'd assume we're probably gonna see a potential standing candle on top of this trend line uh, but an asymmetrical uh, triangle similar to what you're seeing right here that almost always indicates a breakout uh, either way. So, you know, usually when it plays between this triangle, it either goes down here or when it gets to the end of the triangle, it goes up. Uh, hopefully it looks like we're seeing the latter. It looks like we're seeing upward movement and then we'll probably see a back test uh, of that trend line before we push higher. Um, but now that we've kind of covered that as some background context, uh, I want to touch on a couple more things here uh, in the chart. So first off being uh, the moving averages, okay? Uh, the moving averages uh, love how we have been below both the 100 and 200 day for quite some time now. Um, you know, if we look at that, that is, you know, we can call it 110 days that we've been below the 100 and 200 day moving average. That has not happened in Multivax history. The last time that we were below the 100 day moving average we were below that for 75 days. We've never been below both of them simultaneously for a long period of time. You know, you can argue this little bit right here. You know, we were we were back there for 14 days under both, but that's about it. And what that tells me is that we're probably due for some some upside movement here pretty quick. And it looks like we're getting a return to that um, even sooner than we expected. But another thing I wanted to note right here. Uh, is just in you know the last maybe four months or so we've essentially been playing in this uh, rectangle now I wouldn't quite call it uh, you know it's verging on a bullish rectangle usually we'd need to see maybe one more uh, uptick to here to really call it a bullish rectangle but nonetheless it is a rectangle and we're seeing that this has kind of been our range right our range has been between 
and you know to kind of make this a little bit more clear this has been our range right um, and this is just since uh, December or so uh, so we've been playing between you know uh, about a cent and you know uh, six tenths five tenths of a cent uh, half a cent so you know there's been quite a bit of play in this area and as we look to kind of move on getting out of this rectangle is going to be big so we are going to come back to that um, but it's important to to note that that's kind of where we've been playing um, so to move past this rectangle i just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the rsi so if we look here we have been kind of playing between that 50 and 30 mark so closer to oversold than or sorry yeah closer to oversold than overbought which is nice we like to see that um in these times when we are really really uh ripping uh to the upside we're gonna see more play uh here in between the 50 and uh 70 mark so up in this area right um, and you can see that kind of marks where we've been uh, pumping as well. You can see when we shoot up here and uh, vice versa. So uh, really easy to see the correlation between the RSI and then also when we kind of make moves on the chart. What I like what I'm seeing right now about the RSI is the fact that uh, we've turned around uh, down here. You know, we've come off of the uh, oversold. We bounced off that oversold marker at 30. Uh, and now we're back over closer to 40, 42. Um, and you know we're looking like we're making a swing back to the upside so we saw a similar uh, thing play out right here uh, if you can see kind of we played between that 50 and, and 30 uh, and bounce 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 and then uh, you know finally we get some traction here and we move to the upside on the RSI as well so I'm seeing a lot of similarity from here to here uh, so we really just kind of want to keep our eyes out on that as well but now that we've kind of wrapped up some of that chart analysis, I want to get into a little bit of uh, price analysis and, and price targeting, price prediction, stuff like that. So let us draw a uh, FIB retracement here and let's start looking at uh, some key levels. So like we mentioned before, and this is really, really important, like we mentioned before, we have been ranging uh, in this uh, rectangle for a few months now, um, you know, for about, yeah, I mean, three, almost three and a half months right here, 110 days. And what you notice is right off the bat, this may have caught your eye, but the top of that range is a huge key fib level. Um, so that's 1.4 cents. That is a huge, huge level for MTV. We're not really going to see too much resistance. Uh, you know, obviously, I think we need to back test, first of all. Uh, I think we need to back test this trend line. So over the next couple of days, uh, you know, look for a back test to this trend line. So right now we're above, boom, we want to see a back test like that. And then we'll probably start making some more movement up. But with that being said, you can see that there's not too much resistance in this area, right? Uh, this is the next level of true, true resistance, uh, right at about one cent. Uh, and that's been kind of this hard top for us to crack uh over the last two months so we've gotten we got rejected in january we got rejected in february twice um and then we even got you know rejected on new year's eve as well so um definitely a tough area there around one cent that's the 236 fib and then we have the 382 fib i think the 382 is going to give us some some trouble um i think this one will as well but the 382 is huge in terms of um, breaking out of this kind of previous held a previous verified channel uh, so that's gonna be an interesting level to watch so we're talking about 1.4 cents uh, and then 1.1 cents as well um, getting more of a feel for longer term uh, aspects let's kind of dive in and, and like I said um, you know this fractal has been very similar to the way that this fractal is playing out obviously it's not identical right we have you know maybe three spikes here and two or one spike there uh but at the same time let's just you know take it in terms of uh relativity right so let's say you know this bottom uh correlates with the bottom that we most recently saw and so let's say okay that's our bottom and now let's draw this right over here and if we say this goes here, um, sorry, this needs to be up a little bit more. So 
if we kind of lay this uh, over here uh, and then maybe we can draw, you know, somewhat of a trend line here to give us a little bit of an idea. Uh, it will still remain, it's, it will still keep its bullet structure if this fractal plays out exactly how we uh, have laid it out. And it actually, it needs to be a little higher. Uh, sometimes I don't put these on quite right. But uh, from what we're seeing, right, this would be uh, roughly what would happen if this exact same fractal played out. Uh, so let me explain this a little bit. First of all, this kind of looks uh, semi-realistic, kind of an additional consolidation period after testing uh, these two, uh, or sorry, this fib again, you can see, you know, with this uh, uh, fractal repeating, we would have another couple retests of that uh, fib. Now, obviously these fractals don't always play out uh, the same way every time. Um, and so this would be the case where maybe we say, okay, we've already tested this fib a few times. Maybe we don't go back and test it again and again. Either way, it'd be very, very good from a fun fundamental standpoint for the chart to consolidate this hard and put in that hard of support uh, down here uh, at around five tenths of a cent. That would be pretty bullish. Um, so I'm OK and you should be OK with a longer consolidation period because a lot of the times that means a larger breakout. Uh, so if we were to, to replicate uh, the breakout that we had, uh, you know, back in October, we'd be looking at you know, 3.2 cents uh, early September uh, if we were to repeat that fractal. And I think three cents is a very reasonable target right now. You know, that's nearing our, our previous all time high right here um, and just above it. 3.2 would be that target in September. Um, if we look up here, you know, I think longer term, I, I think our goal is to be playing between these two uh, later in the year. So that's between 6.7 cents and 4.4 ish cents. I think longer term past reclaiming the three cent high, that's where we're gonna look to be playing. So longer term, you know, I think we shoot for five to six cents. Uh, and then obviously in the major long term off this retracement, uh, we're looking at 10 cents. And that's super, super out in the future. You know, as you can see, if we zoom out, you know, Multivac looks like it hasn't seen too much history, which it hasn't. Uh, so always keep that in mind. But uh, short term targets, uh, we have a lot of work to do in the short term. We put in a nice little bounce uh, off of that uh, zero fib at five tenths of a cent. And now we are trying to uh, battle back here. If I delete this uh, fractal, uh, we're trying to battle back now to uh, one cent and then 1.4 cents. Um, and those are going to kind of be the short term targets to watch. Uh, and then once one last time, just want to remind you, watch for that back test. Don't freak out if we do have some downward movement in the next couple of days. I think we're going to have to back test that trend line that I drew from up here. Um, but keep your eyes on out on that. Um, that about does it for the video. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. Like the video if you got some value and leave a comment. Let me know what else you guys want me to cover. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.